ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and here is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 8th, as we begin daylight saving time and let's take a look at our sky cams and uh, it's a little darker this morning and i'm running a little bit behind naturally and this is demopolis and you can see it's cloudy and uh, that towboat down there is using its light since the sun is not quite up just yet lights are beginning to wink out at gulf shores and a cloudy sky down there as well and cloudy at gadsden although visibilities at least are not too bad this morning across uh, the northern half of the state of Alabama. Uh, fog's a little more prevalent across the uh, south part of the state, across south Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, and north Florida as well. And uh, we can see the cold front that's just off to our north and west, and it's probably going to stay there as a result of a pretty strong ridge in the upper atmosphere. We can see the short wave trough uh, over the central plains that is uh, going to be giving a glancing blow and bringing the front close enough that perhaps the northwest part of the state might see some showers. Very warm. Temperatures were quite warm yesterday afternoon across the uh, eastern, well, that's, I, I guess I'd call that the eastern half of the country pretty much, but especially from Texas all the way up to the mid-Atlantic states. This morning, we're uh, about a couple of degrees cool, um, pardon me, a couple of degrees warmer in a few spots. I know Birmingham was running about 60 at this time yesterday, and they're 63. And uh, certainly a very mild morning across the southeastern U.S. Uh, the watch warning map across the United States has a number of advisories out, and uh, much of the focus is along that front, along and north of that front. And, of course, the focus for precipitation is going to stay uh, along and uh, just to the north of that front with rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches predicted across uh, much of the Ohio uh, River Valley, uh, across into the Red River Valley, and uh, the Mid-Mississippi River Valley. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk for severe across parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, and extreme northern West Tennessee, and a little bit of southeastern Missouri for today. That's along that front and ahead of that uh, trough. The area shifts back day two, back into Oklahoma and uh, north central Texas, and then that area on day three comes out. Right now, it doesn't look like it's going to be a severe weather event. All right, here's the 06E GFS model run. And uh, this is the map for tomorrow, from Monday. And you can see the ridge building in as the trough that's up over New England has uh, given a glancing blow to the area. And that trough dragging a front into the area, but it just doesn't seem like there's quite enough uh, forcing to have uh, any kind of widespread precipitation. So uh, I think for the most part, we're going to be dry. We stay dry on Tuesday, too, as the front more or less washes out. But the next trough is coming in out of the uh, Rockies. And that trough by Wednesday is headed up into the Great Lakes. Once again, the ridge is holding very, very tough. And so that's going to probably drag the front down at least closer. So Wednesday... Looks like probably our first pretty good chance at getting uh, some precipitation. Uh, that big trough uh, heads off over into the uh, Maritimes and up into New England. Uh, but another one is coming in to the northern Rockies there. And that essentially drags the front down in and keeps it in this area. So it looks like the latter part of the week is going to be cooler and cloudier. Uh, with the possibility of some showers off and on. Uh, the southwesterly flow, or nearly zonal flow, continues on Friday, and that, of course, just keeps us in this uh, zonal, uh, this, this frontal zone where we may see some showers. I don't think it's going to be an all-day rain kind of event, but certainly uh, going to keep us a little bit unsettled. Then uh, a kicker comes in finally on Saturday, and that should give us another pretty good round of rain, perhaps even the best chance at some uh, rains on that day. And then that kicker moves on, and uh, the result is surface high pressure builds in, and we stay pretty close to uh, typical, I'd say probably highs around 60 to 63 or 4 or so. Now let's head out into Voodoo. And remember yesterday we were looking at a cold core low with another perhaps snow event like we saw a week ago today. But that's changed, and I think I predicted that that would probably change as well. And here we go. Uh, here's uh, the map for the 500 millibar map for the 18th of March, and certainly we have a, cl uh, a, a closed low and a cold core low, but it's much further north over the mid-Mississippi River Valley and the Ohio River Valley, and that could 
uh, produce an interesting snowstorm for them, but it looks like just rain for us. So a big flip-flop there. And then finally, at the end of the period, uh, we're under a weak ridge between two systems, but uh, another one coming out of the southern Rockies, and that's likely to produce another round of rain. But of course, we are dealing with voodoo, and you know what we say, you know, it'll change. So uh, you can almost uh, bet 100% on that. Appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, James Spann should be back tomorrow morning, bright and early with his first shift on daylight saving time. And I uh, appreciate you tuning in. Hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Weather, 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 weather.